It's Friday, getting along about supper time in the heart of Saskatchewan. It's July 23rd, 2011. And this is Guernsey, Saskatchewan, built on the rail line that the CP extended through here in 1908. Here we are looking eastbound down it. It's essentially an extension of the Manitoba Northwestern, which built off from the CPR main line at Portage La Prairie and built into Yorkton in 1890. That's Highway 16 over there. Lanigan is off to the right, about 8K. Off to the left, to the northwest, is Saskatoon, about 100 kilometers away. This is all glacial lake and stream deltaic deposit in through here. Pretty good farmland. Began to attract settlers in 1905 after the Canadian Northern built through Humboldt 20 miles to the north in 1904. And this is the Potash Corporation of Saskatchewan's Lanigan Mine. Potash Corporation was organized in 89 and owned several properties in the province. They mechanically mine here about a thousand meters underground, up to 3.3 million tons a year. Don't know where it all goes. And looking eastbound. Pretty quiet in Guernsey this evening. Webster's Auto Electric is the only company to survive, it looks like. Old McCormick Deering there, maybe. Or Massey. Lots of vacant lots. Building opportunities. The population is only 88 in 2006, down from 108 in 2001. Peak population appears to have been 1976 at 222. Looking west, sweeping around to look through the trees towards the railway line, still very active. The elevators would have been over there. There was two built in 1908 and eventually there was four. Saskatchewan Wheat Pool has been here since 1924 through 1984, but it's gone from the 1995 map. Old livery barn. Don't know. It's a veteran, though. On Railway Avenue, and there's the hotel down there. And sweeping around to look at the rail yards. CP station would have been right in there. Portable was dropped off in 08 and replaced by a standard number five station that year. It was at mile 44.4 of the Sutherland subdivision, Winyard to Saskatoon, 113.5 miles. The station was sold off in 1973 and taken away. Look, see, around Guernsey. Pretty fancy. Ball diamond, a hum of a generator somewhere, a transformer, I guess. Looks like a bit of a camp there. Potash workers. And this is Main Street, the station would have been right down there. Community hall, seen better times. Don't know why, Guernsey. Retrenched, I guess. From its high population in 1976. Wide streets. You can buy a nice house behind a caragana hedge gone wild.
looking south campground. And here's the modern post office. The post office was established here November 1st, 1907. Nobody goes to the confectionery anymore. First store to be built on the town site went up in 1906. Two years in advance of the railway, the village grid was probably laid out in 1907. Streets all named for places on the Isle of Guernsey. You can see the street signs there. All boarded up. Looking down towards the hotel. Looks like a block of apartments there for potash workers. Bit of a rec center. Guernsey was incorporated as a village in July 4th, 1908, but it was dissolved on December 19th, 2005, and now it's a ward of the RM of Usborne. And here are the headquarters of that RM, right here. School district was erected in 1909, and this was the last school that was closed in 1997. A few miles from Guernsey on the way to Watrous, we come across this cemetery and church. There was a large contingent of Manitoba Mennonites arrived around 1905 and settled on a big block of land south of Guernsey. Don't know when that little church was built. And also in the neighborhood is the old Attica elevator now on a farm. Guernsey, Saskatchewan.